You're a New Yorker. What's the problem? I know. I'm, I know I'm a New Yorker. You know, I've been kind of obsessed with this whole race from the beginning, and have written, you know, a fair amount about it. I got very excited about it all, and I, I have to say, I was a little deflated when the results came out. Even though, yes, I live in New York, and I think it's fine. I think a lot of good things can come out of this, but. I grew up in the heartland, and when I first heard they're going to do two, I thought, well, at least one of them could be a nod to the middle of the country. I mean, what what disappoints me a little bit is that it reinforces the idea that we basically have two countries here. We have the coasts, we have the heartland, we have the coastal elite, the tech elite, the blue states, and then we've got everything else in between. And Amazon has only cemented. That idea by its pick. Now, let me say, it's not Amazon's obligation to heal the divides <laughs> in this country. I, I, my I readily yeah. concealed concede that. On the other hand, was it an opportunity? You know, and again, Amazon never said we wanted to be transformative, but that that was sort of underlying all of this, and that's I think why people got so excited about it. And frankly, they're not going to move the needle in either. New York or the Washington metro area. Don't you think labor availability was oh. the key here? I mean, we're already seeing Foxconn suffer through some early travails in Wisconsin. Well, absolutely. There's no question that's what it was. I mean, in their RFP initially, they only put labor force as the third thing after immediate availability and costs. But it's clear that in the end, that was the determinative thing. And I've, I've talked to people at Amazon, at Amazon that, that, that was very data driven. And the, the cold reality from their point of view is if you want to hire 50,000 highly educated, sophisticated, technology oriented workers, you've got to go where the labor pool is. And they were saying, and I said, oh, you know, you know these are, some of these are really great cities. You know, like, like, like I went to college outside of Indianapolis. I love Indianapolis. And they said, well, you know, Indianapolis is just doesn't have, it's, it would be too transformative. It just couldn't sustain an influx of even 25,000 people like this. So I, I get it, but you know, again, all these tech people feel, it's like, to put it in tech terms, it's a network effect. I mean, they feel we've got to be where the big tech companies are. The big tech companies say we have to be where they are, and they're all ending up in the same place.